Good morning, guys. Um, well, a not so good morning for me. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have a clip in front of this or behind this or not at all. Um, I've been up since 3 o'clock. It's now 11. Uh, well, 10.50. Uh, I've been up since 3 o'clock. I woke up and Mike was still, me and Mike were both up. He woke up and I woke up. So we decided to put a movie on and, you know, fall asleep watching it. Um, Mike fell asleep. I ended up watching it. Um, it was the movie uh, Bird Box on Netflix. So as it was ending, I started to feel a little bit anxious. Like I wasn't able to fall asleep that fast. Or I started getting like real irritable under my covers. And I was getting hot. Then I'm getting cold. And I was like, please, you know, mind over matter. I try to tell myself like you're not going to have an attack. You're not going to have an attack. But it gets scared. And I had a horrible attack this morning, and I mean horrible. Um, I ended up on my bathroom floor crying until 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, my cat was sitting next to me, but like, poor guy was probably so scared. He sat there licking me, and I just could cry. Uh, I tried praying. I tried <laughs> everything. I really tried everything. I tried taking Pepto. I tried um the beads i tried putting on a video on youtube and all of those things took so much energy just to do just to hold my phone and look at it was just like uh and the whole time i feel like i had to throw up so i just say forget it like i'm going to try to make myself throw up because sometimes you'll throw up and you'll feel better i couldn't throw up like nothing would come up i couldn't do it and as i was trying it was making it worse but I was telling myself, it'll, it gets worse before it'll get better. And it just wouldn't come up. And I was shaking like a leaf. Um, I filmed a little clip of it this morning. Every Saturday morning, um, I go to grief counseling, or which now has translated into like a life coach, a life counselor. Um, and I have an option to do like a one-on-one -on -one with her or a group setting. And today was supposed to be like my group setting. And I was scared. I was terrified like... I'm going to have to cry, and when I don't feel good, it reads on my face. It always does, and all it takes is someone to be like, hey, are you okay? And water works. I'm very emotional when I'm sick, and I don't feel good, and I just, you know, I was crying and crying. Um, sorry, guys. Uh, we're taking a battery. Mike wants to get a new battery for his car since his is a couple of years old now. I think it's like six years old, so better safe than sorry. Um, but I just wanted to update you. I don't know if I can put that other clip in depending on even I'm going to watch it and see if I can even hear because the way I was talking, I was so low and sick and I kind of did it more for my doctor and for me to actually like be able to say exactly what I was feeling at that moment more so than for a vlog. Um, but if it's in here, it's in here. If not, no worries. Um, I will talk to you guys a little bit more, maybe later, or it'll have to be a separate video because it'll be longer. Um, but I did want to let some of you know, I do, I see my primary and we are ruling out, um, my birth control. I'm waiting for blood work to come back to see if it's horm my hormone levels. Um, I already talked to you guys about the thyroid and then I have to, a cardiologist appointment to wear a pack for 48 hours just to rule out that it's not my heart. Um, and if we can rule those things out, then my doctor obviously is leaning towards anxiety because my blood work keeps coming back good. The only thing that comes back with my blood work is my cholesterol is a little high and my thyroid numbers were a little bit off. Um, but that can, if one little thing can affect you so much and it's just so hard to believe that it's anxiety because now I, I don't feel right for the rest of the day and I didn't feel right for the whole rest of the day yesterday and I fought to stay awake but I kept falling asleep and I had to fight to stay awake today now because I want to be able to sleep through the night and uh, hopefully I can. Um, what was the other point I was going to say or get across was, um, oh man, I forget. See, and like, oh, the medication. So my doctor gave me this medicine and I mentioned it in yesterday's vlog that I was supposed to take during the attack. I'm so terrified to take it because the one and only time I took it was on a Friday and it's the lowest milligram. It's called Vistaril or Vistarol. Um, and you're supposed to take it during an attack and it's supposed to calm down. But it made me feel out of myself like my vision was off everything and it kind of just makes me nauseous even thinking about oh it's not a pill I can just chop in half. It's a capsule so if I had to open it it would be powdery. 
Um, and it got to the point today where I was just like, forget it. I have to do something. So I broke the capsule in half, poured half of that half out, and then a little bit more out. So I put a little bit, I like basically took, a t I don't know, if it had to be milligrams, it would be like one milligram out of the 10 it is or the five it is. So I do feel like it's, calmed it down but I don't know if it was just I started calming down because of the medication or because it had been going on for so long already um but just pray for me because I cannot have I'm terrified that these will happen before work and it makes me feel like I'm broken it makes me feel like what's wrong with me that everything's fine my life's fine I'm and and they just come on for no reason um and my therapist always says, like, it's not for no reason. Maybe it's you're missing your father subconsciously. And I don't know. I'm just doing the best I can with what I have right now. And uh, keep me in your prayers. And if you do suffer from panic attacks and anxiety, you're not alone. And I never understood anxiety and panic. I never did. I kind of just thought it was like, oh, you get really anxious. I never understood. Like, no, you get sick. Like, you feel nauseous. You feel like you have to puke. You feel like you're... you're you feel like you have the flu and you're hot and you're cold but you're really irritable and you don't want it. you're uncomfortable in every single way and for all of you that do suffer from that um you're not alone and I'm really sorry uh I've had friends say to me like one of my friends said before um I would never let myself like get upset about something to the point where it affected me well, I didn't know that you don't have a choice. Like, my body is just doing this on its own. Um, now, my diet over the holidays hasn't has been poor. Like, it hasn't been on point. And that's another thing I think maybe it's been so long since I've had an attack, like six, five, six months. Then this week, because of Christmas, I didn't have my regular work schedule. And I wasn't eating, like, that great. I mean, it's not like I was eating horrible. Though. I still had salad and... I don't know I don't know what's causing them but at least I'm able to talk about it and every time I talk about it I do feel better when it's happening and I talk about it it's horrible because then I'm saying it out loud that something's wrong and then I, I where in my head I'm already trying to tell myself this isn't happening you're gonna get better or this too shall pass but when I say it when I'm sick does anyone else know what I mean like when you're sick you're like oh my head hurts then your head hurts more your stomach hurts oh it hurts more so I don't know, but I did get a lot of private messages about my other uh, video, so thank you for that. Thank you for all the love and support, and I will talk to you guys later, or if this video is too long, I might just put it up alone. Alright, guys. Mwah. Hi, guys. So, it's much later in the night. Um, me and Stanley are here. Can you say hi? Hi. We're getting ready to watch a movie. Stanley yeah. got Incredible 2 for Christmas. The Incredibles 2. So we're going to watch it, I promise. And we can snuggle. What's in here, Titi? That is Titi's new bag. Cool. My car keys. He's got one of my new bags that I got. Super cute, right guys? These I'm are... really not a big Star Wars fan, but these things are way too cute. These are so. cool, Titi. Okay, well don't take my keys all apart. What are yeah. you doing? No, no, no. Sorry. That's okay. So, an update. Um, I kind of just took it easy today. I feel a I'm thousand you, times. Papa. That's okay. I feel a thousand times better than I did. Um, obviously, then this morning, I still feel a little off. And like the worst part about having an attack, especially two days in a row, is the fear of it coming again and being as. Being as it came both times around 5 in the morning, I'm like really nervous or really scared for it to happen again. But other than that, the day was good. We got a lot of errands done this afternoon. We got home about 2 o'clock. And then I just hung out with Stanley all afternoon. We just got our showers, right? Yeah. And got a bath. All right, want to do our checklist? Yeah. Cleaned up our toys? Check. Got a shower? Check. Washed our hair? Check. Washed our face? Check. Jammies. Jammies. Check. Combed your hair. Check. Got a snack. Check. Ready for snuggles. Check. And after snuggles, book and brush our teeth and bed. Yeah, All right, floss. guys. Thanks and so my much mom for says floss. and floss. Of course, we always floss. So we'll Where's do that. My snack? Okay. Shh. 
Sorry guys, it's a little scattery today and that's how my brain feels all day, real scattery. No, uh, no organization. But hopefully tomorrow morning I wake up and I just feel like myself. Not a little shaky, nothing I like feel that. Like Thank you so much for all the love and support Thank and for you. everyone who's reached out. Um, a few of you have been calling me and I didn't answer. Um, I was just trying to take it easy today. I really I feel just like myself. I was just trying to take it easy. I really didn't want to do any phone calls today, talk to anybody. I just wanted to relax. So if you did call me today and I didn't get back to you, I will call you tomorrow. All right, guys. Have a good night. Love you. Bye. There's also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I.